Chapter 8 Conditional Statements in QBasic Sometimes the user may alter this sequence of execution by repeating or skipping the execution of few statements subject to a given condition. For controlling the sequence of a program's execution, control statements are used. Control statements are of two types, loops and conditional statements. Conditional statements We use these statements for specifying whether a particular task will be performed or not the basis of a specific condition. The program transfers control for executing the statements based on whether the result of condition is true or false. These conditional statements use relational operators. Some of the conditional statements used in QBasic are if then, if then else, if else if else. If then statement. One of the most useful statements in QBasic is the if then statement. It allows you to choose what your program will do depending on the conditions you give it. Syntax. If condition, then, if the condition is true, then statements are executed. Statements and if Program 1 Write a program to prompt the user to enter marks. If the marks entered are equal to or more than 80, then display the message, Congrats, you have scored good marks. Input marks equal to A If A greater than or equal to 80, then, print, congrats, you have scored good marks. And if, output, if the user enters 90 as the marks, the message, congrats, you have scored good marks, appears on the screen. As the condition evaluates to true. In case the user enters 40, there will be no message on the screen as the condition evaluates to false. Program 2 Write a program to check if the entered number is even number or not. Input Enter a number x If x mod 2 equal to 0 then Print this number is even number And Output If then else statement. If then else is another conditional statement. It is also called bi directional decision making statement. If the condition is true, then the statements in if block are executed. If the condition is false, then the statements following else block are executed. Syntax If condition, then if condition is true, then statements are executed. Statement 1. Else, statements to be executed if the condition is false. Statement 2. And if. Program 3. Write a program to check if a number is less than or greater than or equal to 100. Input, enter a number, number. If number less than 100. Then, print, your number was less than 100. Else, print, your number was greater than 100. And if, output, if the user enters a number, say 50, the message, your number was less than 100, will appear on the screen as the condition evaluates to true. If the user enters, say 120, the message, your number was greater than 100 will appear on the screen as the condition evaluates to false. If else if else statement In case you want to specify some additional conditions in the if then statement, the if else if else statement is used. Syntax if condition 1 then statements 
if the condition 1 is true, statement is executed. Else if condition 2, then statements. Statements to be executed if condition 1 is false and condition 2 is true. Else statements. Statements to be executed if both condition 1 and condition 2 are false. And if you can have as many else if statements as you want depending on the conditions to be checked. This statement works by checking the first condition that evaluates to either true or false. If true, the corresponding statements will be executed and program move to end if statement. Otherwise, next condition is checked. The else part is executed if no condition is true. If you do not have an else part and no condition is true, then none of the if or else if statements are executed. Program 4 Write a QBasic program using the if, else if, else statements for comparing two numbers entered by the user. Input, enter first integer, num1. Input, enter second integer, num2. If num1 is greater than num2, then print num1 is greater than num2. Else if num2 greater than num1, then print num2 is greater than num1. Else print the numbers are the same. And if output Programs using conditional statements. Example 1. Write a program in QBasic to input a number and display whether it is divisible by 2 or 4. Solution. Input, enter a number, num. If num mod 2 equal to 0, then print, it is divisible by 2. And if mod 4 equal to 0 then print it is divisible by 4 and if example 3 write a program in qbasic to input your age and showing whether you are eligible for rafting or not Solution. Input. Enter your age. Age. If age is greater than or equal to 14, then print you are eligible for rafting. Else, print you are not eligible for rafting. And if